And that's not it. Can I skip the... Okay. Okay. Time to side with the Templars. Okay. Whether or not we, um, whether or not Bethany joins us, I don't know. I hope so. Time to side with the Templars. Actually, not no. Go with this party. Okay. I'm going to side with the Templars here. Normally I side with the mages. Thank the Maker you've come. What's happened? First Enchanter Orsino got into a terrible argument with the Knight Commander. He stormed off to bring the matter before the Grand Cleric. But the Knight Commander gave chase. I fear there will be blood. Wonderful. Take me to them. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You cannot do that. You have no right. I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic. Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Usually because that means there's an evil spirit with them. My patience is at an end. The wonder that I never saw it begin. The way you two carry on, people will talk. You came. This does not involve you, champion. It involves my sister. It involves me. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. You both set quite the example for your people. You know that. If you will be willing to talk. Tell me, champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. You can't use the actions of some to condemn them all. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not. Going so. with the exact same. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. No, you, you don't have a heart. Vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminals, while those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Hmm. 
I'm not worried about the people in the blast. <laughs> no matter what, that's gonna be funny to me. The playthrough I did on stream beforehand, I just laughed my head off. I think I got a short of that. Blessed be the souls of the link it. They ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I removed the chance of compromise. Because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the circle is to be executed. Immediately! The circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her help us stop this madness. And I call on you to keep order. After what just occurred, you cannot deny what must be done. Hell, people need my help. I'm debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here. I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. <sighs> Okay. This is why I made a save from. That's why I did the mages first. I'm gonna do the Templars now. <sighs> Templars. I guess you've got yourself a champion. Your first act must be to execute this traitor. Please don't do this. You must know in your heart this is wrong. It's unfortunate, but it's the only way. The mages cannot hide behind their rights when they endanger so many. Crushing the rebels, are we? How dare they wish for freedom? Don't do this. Don't make me choose between my people and my family. Think carefully, champion. This is not justice. Sorry, but you're on your own. Very wise. I've never done are this. Are you sure about this? You know she's going to murder people whose only crime was being born a mage. I do not like this. It's a bad choice. The mages are defending themselves. And the Templars are just protecting the city. All we can do now is try to keep casualties to a minimum. That's a good point. I suppose you're right. This decision was taken out of our hands. Stop him! I will warn the others! Gather our forces! We uh. will deal with this. Okay. I don't see Bethany. So it begins. I must gather my forces at the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can, champion. I'll leave this murderer for you to deal with. He's your companion. Do as you see fit. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. So you start a massacre to prove a point? I'm not proving a point. I'm changing a world. The people fear what we can do. But to use that fear to bludgeon us into submission is wrong. And they do it with our blood. I'm already feeling dirty during this. If I take that with my life. Then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. I want to see what happens. Just go. No. You cannot let this abomination walk free. He dies, or I am returning to Starkhaven. 
And I will bring such an army with me on my return that there'll be nothing left of Kirkwall for these Maleficarum to rule. Okay. He's right. The Grand Cleric deserves justice. Yes. I would not deny anyone's right. I don't I don't, I don't want to lose Sebastian. I don't want to lose two companions. The my name lives on to inspire generations. Yeah, you're a footnote. Still just a footnote. I may let him go sometime, but not this time. It will never be enough, but it's a start. How invigorating. We'd all best get to the gallows, and quick. It's going to be quite a show. Okay. Each of these Maleficar could have helped Anders with his butchery. I doubt that. Just like last time. Stay where you are. There is no escape. Leave me alone. I never asked for any of this. The law is clear, mage. We cannot take the risk. Keep away from me. I'm warning you. Kill it! Kill it now! Last time I had to fight both Templars and that. This time at least I only had to fight Templar, or the Abomination. I do not want to have to fight Bethany unless I absolutely have to. If I end up having to fight Bethany, I'll leave the Templars to fight that. Oh yeah, they flee. Leave me to deal with the rest of this myself. I think I prefer siding with the mages. But at least it'll make no more narrative sense, I think, what's my go when I go against Orsino. Because Orsino makes no narrative sense.
And the curiosity, and, and some curiosity will be. Cause like I said, I've never sided with the Templars. I've played through this game multiple times. And not once have I sided with Templars. Yeah, same here. This time I don't have any mages with me though. I need a drink. Crushing prison. Okay, we're off. Off to the gallows. I don't, I'm already feeling dirty, do, dirt, dirt, very dirty doing this. But I've never played through this. And what I'll do is I'll flip a coin. Once again, I'm stuck in the middle. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. 
The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. We can still prevent this, before you both tear Kirkwall apart. It is already torn apart. We cannot divert from our path. And me? Will you also fight your own sister? You tell me. I didn't want it to come to this. I... Stay strong, child. We must make a stand together, or we are all no, that's not gonna... lost. I... Yes, first enchanter. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. I don't think that was the right decision. I want Bethany on my side. I know I can get Car Carver on my side. But I want Bethany. Let me tell you what is about to happen. We have the unenviable task of entering the gallows. And eliminating every mage we find within. Come on. You must harden your heart. The magic within them is a disease that, if left unchecked, will spread and fester. We will do what we must. Make her have mercy on their souls. Prepare for the attack. Let me know when you are ready, champion. I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to see if there's an option that will allow me to have her by my side. I don't want Hawk to lose his, you know, his sister. And his, you know, then his, you know, biologicals are only gambling and Charade. I don't want that. I want to at least have a sister. Enchanter. Stay back! I don't want to fight you! And here you are! Let us speak, Meredith, before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect! I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. I'm always going to be stuck in the middle. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. We can still prevent this. Before you both tear Kirkwall apart. It is already torn apart. We cannot divert. Yes, from you can. Path. You can talk. And me? Will you also fight your own sister? You aren't leaving me much choice, Bethany. I didn't want it to come to this. I stay strong, child. We must make a stand. Okay, I don't think there is a choice. The other one is I... not a choice. Yes. I'm gonna take a quick peek, see if there's so what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight away. here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. Yeah, see what the quest is so I can search it. Actually, you know what? Let 
me tell you what is about to happen. We have the unenviable task of entering the gallows and eliminating every mage we find within. You must harden your heart. The magic within them is a disease that if left unchecked will spread and fester. We will do what we must. Make her have mercy on their souls. Okay, so there is a way. Prepare for the attack. Let me know when you are ready, champion. Okay. Okay, I might be able to. Captain. Ah, uh, not for much longer if this goes bad. What a mess. You really put loyalty to the test, you know. Donic has kept the guard protecting civilians. It's been contained so far, but we really need some luck going ahead. Don't doubt me. Never. Almost never. Let's keep the damage to a minimum, shall we? I've walked away from too many wastelands for one lifetime. Guards should be protecting the civilians. I'm not going to change that. That is not something I can I can do. Moira. Be strong, champion. We're all counting on you. Colin. You must steal yourself for what is to come. We both must. Varric. Nervous Hawk. Always. My mother didn't raise any stupid children. I know how dangerous this fight will be. Well, that's comforting. It's the most dangerous thing we could ever do. But at least we know that. You know me, Hawk. I'm not one for long goodbyes. I will do this until I get Bethany on my side, though. People preserving our way of life. This is worth doing. We face down worse things than this, Varric. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I hate it when you say that. What do you say we put an end to all this waiting around and go meet destiny? Talk to everybody one more time. If Elthina had stood firm behind the Knight Commander, this wouldn't have happened. There are times when even the best intentions lead to the void. Let's skip the mushy stuff. We've got mages to kill. <laughs> and there's no one I'd rather do that with. The Maker favors us in this fight. He must. For we I think Sebastian likes enemies. me. If we fall here, Penner, Sebastian, and I are going to have a three way after this. We are. Fenris is going to tap. Don't be nervous. Things are going so well. I hope so. I'm, I'm sure this is for the best. I'm ready for whatever comes. Does all this feel like a dream to you, too? In a moment, I'll look down and see I have no pants on. <laughs> the champion of Kirkwall going to battle naked. Why can't I ever have that dream? Hawk, before we go, I... Meryl, whatever happens, I'm proud to have known you. Shouldn't you be halfway to Tevinter by now? Maker's breath. Take off with a priceless relic once and you never hear the end of it. Yeah. Your life would have been easier if you had just cut me out of it. But you stood by me. You defied the Canari and fought their Arashok for me, even after I betrayed you. You came back to help me. Defending you from the Arashok was the least I could do. And don't think I'm not grateful for that. I know I don't exactly inspire confidence, but I swear I'm going to come through for you this time. When you look for me, I'll be fighting at your side. Yes, you will. I hope you're prepared for what we're about to face. 
Desperation will drive these mages to terrible acts. I have seen it before. It will not be pretty. What do you mean? The Imperium has its own Templars, and they too must act when mages cross the line. The line is in a different place, but the end result is the same. We will see abominations born of terror and wrath. Men you never believed capable of depravity, embracing it gladly. Abominations and blood mages. Sounds like a Tuesday. <laughs> it does sound that way, doesn't it? I... may not get the chance to say this again. Meeting you was the most important thing that ever happened to me, Hawk. Promise me you won't die. I can't bear the thought of living without you. I don't make that promise, unless you do. Nothing is going to keep me from you. Okay. I assume you are ready, champion. What will you do once the mages are dead? This is not the first time the right of annulment has ever been invoked. We will do as others have done before us. Start again. Kirkwall will be rebuilt, stronger than before. And the Circle will know fear. This has been a long time coming. I am eager to begin. To slaughter the entire Circle? Oh, uh, sure. Good. You will need to give orders to your companions. Do that and the attack may begin. Okay, this time... Come on, Bella. We got this. I want to help as well, even if I'm not fighting at your side. Meryl, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Aveline, charge in whenever you see an opening. Very well. Sebastian, I need you somewhere with a good vantage. Cover us while we move in. May the Maker favor us now. I'm no Templar. I'm not sure every step leads me closer to the Maker. But I know trouble. And this is it. I can't say for certain that going in there is right. But I know it's needed right now. When home is on the line, maybe that's enough. Champion, the attack is about to begin. I've seen this before. Yeah, as if I ever pay attention to the health bars of the victims. Of my enemies. That one. I'm not paying attention to their health. You're fine, Crypto, after this battle, okay, buddy? After this battle, I'm gonna have to take a break. My puppy wants out. Oh, 
It's gonna be a little while. This battle looks like it's gonna be a long one. I'm, I know. I'll let you out in a second. Once this battle's done, buddy. Once this battle's done. We're almost done. Only like 15 more enemies to go, it feels like. Oh no, and Raid Demon too. Maybe. Okay, Bella. Health. Hawk. Health. More. Okay. Soon, ver soon, soon, buddy. It's almost done, buddy. Could use some help, Cullen. Okay, I'm going to have to take a break right here because... Okay, never mind. It looks like he's chilled out a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to go right into this battle, too. Trap. All set. I don't like Okay. This feels more like it makes narrative sense. From a narrative perspective, I'm going to say, you know, going into the circle this way. It makes more narrative sense. is beyond redemption. Knight Commander, surely the right of annulment requires something more... It requires my word, Cullen. Do as I've commanded. Champion, will you not defend us? Must we all be slaughtered for the actions of a few? They've already surrendered. Killing them now is just petty. Listen to the champion. Okay, this feels more like it makes more narrative sense. It makes me feel icky. Like... Really icky. But it makes narrative sense. Okay. I'm gonna take a break to let the puppies out. I will be back in a second. Okay. I'm back. Like I said, it makes more, I, I think, when I, when I say it makes more narrative sense, I do mean for, like, this battle, specifically. It makes more sense. It makes sense with, um, I mean, we've, I've already seen this battle on the other side. But with, like, Orsino. Okay, get my dog back. Okay. 
do it. You know, fight, fighting the mages like this makes more narrative sense in the battle. You know, makes more sense for Orsino's betrayal. Because he's not really betraying. It makes sense for Meredith's arc because... Here comes the champion... You know, countermanding her orders. Taking charge of the situation. I think, you know, in that sense, this whole thing makes more narrative sense if you said of the Templars. But for, from the game, it makes more narrative sense if you're siding with the mages in general. I'm seeing if there's any doors that can be opened. Yeah, there is. Okay. I'll leave them to it. For now. And I'm not going to loot that corpse again. I've already seen that fight. Don't know if I want to see that again. Sandal. Storage is in a different spot. Okay, she doesn't have a belt and a ring, so I want to make sure she's got a belt. Give her that one. Okay, that way I know she's got stuff. It makes sense for more demons to be here, too. As for my thoughts on circle reform, people are more willing to talk with one another. It would be better. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make sure everything's cleared out here first. Sandal. Well, not everything, but... I want to make sure that other side's cleared out too. Mm. 
Okay. And this side's good. I'm not going to fight all the demons and stuff. Because I just cleared it out. I just wanted to make sure that I was going the right path. Just as I suspected all along. Willing sacrifices! Men and women who would have died at your hands anyhow. <laughs> the irony is that until this very moment, I have never used blood magic. Do you take me for a fool? One does not summon such a ritual from thin air. The right belonged to Quentin, a man the champion is familiar with. I put aside his research as too dangerous. But things have changed. You were working with that murderer. I knew about him. I kept his existence secret because I didn't want to give Meredith more ammunition against us. But you could have stopped him. You could have saved her. I'm sorry, my dear. I didn't know the extent of his derangement until it was too late. The Maker has guided us here to end your evil, Orsino. The Maker has guided you all to your deaths! No! You said he wouldn't be hurt! I'm sorry, child, but true justice demands sacrifice from us all. See, this makes more narrative sense. And you can call him out for working with the guy who murdered your mom. I hope Bethany's still alive. Okay, good. She's still there. And she's got the blue. She's allied. I'll be the distraction, guys. Come here, ugly. Come on.
Oh, everybody's health looking. Okay. So I can explain it better when I'm not fighting. But I I I have my thoughts. Is the curse that you carry difficult as it may be to accept you your insanity drove him to this your paranoia I will not argue with you mage my purpose here is clear and i'm just one more abomination to be dealt with yes i see what comes next back away from her meredith i see have it your way then I will meet you in the courtyard, champion. I am not. Thank you. I don't know if I deserve your help. You don't think I could lose you, too? We'd best get out before they lock the doors. Sorry, Bella. I need my sister. to lose your family. Anything I could say would be insufficient. I'm sorry. Make her protect us all. You just came in, Crypto. It's talking to my dog, not the uh, dog in game. Okay, I gotta organize my thoughts here about that sandal. Hey, jump, mate. Goodbye, sandal. Look at 
all this. Magic is a cancer in the heart of our land. Just as it was in the time of Andraste. And like her, we are left with no choice but to purify it with fire and blood. Strange way to treat a sick patient. Crypto, you're fine, the buddy. The must be amputated to save a life. Unpleasant, but necessary. And my surgery here is not yet done. I am beginning to wonder just how large your part in all this actually was. A refugee come to our city with an apostate sister, gathering power and influence without any accounting. Okay, Cassandra. How can I trust that the mighty champion of Kirkwall is not a worse threat to this city than the Circle? If you want to see a threat to this city, look in the mirror. Just the sort of misdirection I would expect from you. The people of Kirkwall will mourn your loss, but I will tell them you died battling the mages. A righteous cause. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the champion. And the charge? You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started Good whispering though. you were mad. This is too far. I will not allow I have the hall open up so he can be out in the hall. I think he sees the older dogs and he's, he wants to go play with them. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. Mm. The idol poisoned Bartran's mind in the end. He was weak. Whereas I am not. All of you, I want him dead. Enough. This is not what the order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. As soon as this cutscene's you over. Have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's lost it. Just like Bartrand. Yep. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. Go playing and crypto. You're fine, buddy. You're fine, buddy. Okay. Stay away from my sister, Meredith. He's now in the hall just staring at me. I mean, she is stronger. But she's also a Templar and been on Lyrium for a while. So she knows how to control it better than Bartrand did. And this is not a good type of Lyrium. Target it. There we go. Let's 
There's plenty more of where that came from, unfortunately. You could use your help, Donic. Meredith anywhere around here? Nope. Okay. I just wonder who designed these things with joints. Like, workable joints. I swear, Meredith just pretends to be Andraste. I mean, all these statues are styled. Well, the, some of the statues are styled to be Andraste. Right? And she sees herself as Andraste. Problem is, you're not humbled, ma'am. Okay, not used to this. That I was not expecting. Word of the slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry for all mages, a reminder of their brutal oppression. He'd shown not only what the Templars were willing to do, 
but that they could be defied. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. <laughs> Here at home, the city all but got down on its hands and knees and begged the champion to rule. As for the rest of us, eventually we all left the champion's side for one reason or another. Well, all of us except for Fenris. And Bethany. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth, a new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith turned on the champion. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... Then I suppose Meredith would be ruling the city still. But the champion is not in Kirkwall any longer. So I hear. Isn't it strange how quickly fortunes change? I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. He is a hero. A man that the Templars respect. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. He may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? Yeah. In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Though, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Beric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. Okay. I've done both. I have done both. Proceed. One last thing to do. I'm setting it up. Yeah, uh, setting this up here. My world state. No, it's not going to matter for the Veil Guard. But it kind of matters to me, you know? Let's so I have a record. Dragon Age 2. That's good. Just checking everything. I 
Act 3 Okay. Now. Coin flip. Okay. So, I'll do I'll do a regular flip. Heads, mages go into the world state, tails templars. It's the last thing I'm doing. Okay, Templars are going into the world state. Just going to make sure it didn't change anything with Bethany. And... That's the world state going into Inquisition. Okay. Oh, oh, that can be taken down now. So, during the final battle, okay, that's weird. Um, during the final battle, both battles, with the mages, a lot of it really doesn't make sense. So, you know, going through the streets. I mean, let's start just going through the streets. We've talked to Orsino and Meredith. We've decided to side with the mages. We fight, you know, the abomination of the Templars. That makes sense. Then we side with the mages and, and fight the Templars. That makes sense. And then we get to the docks. And we're fighting with a blood mage. Even though we're the allies of the mages. I think we should have been fighting against a group of Templars. I'm, I'm just saying. So, in, in, in both backgrounds, that happens. In this case, the Templar makes more sense why we're fighting a mage and demons at the docks than it does in the mage. Um, in the mage ending. Then, we get to, now we're going to go with just the mage ending here. We get to the gallows. We have our little discussion. We go into the, you know, thing with, you know, in, into the circle with the mages. And we fight one group of Templars. And Orsino is all like, well, they want blood magic, I'll show them blood magic. And turns into a boss. That we have to fight. Which makes little sense because he's got the champion with him. We can buy him enough time to get him out of Kirkwall. You know, I, I, and destroy the phylacteries and stuff like that. So they can you know, at least have a chance of escaping to a better life. But no, it's right away. Time to use Quentin's research and turn into a monster. And we can't even bring up Quentin's research. And then we're going, you know, we defeat him. We escape through, start escaping through the tower. And now we're fighting more mages and abominations until we get to the courtyard where Meredith is like, okay, we're going to, you know, kill him. Colin's like, we're, we're going to arrest him. And we fight Meredith. Meredith immediately, you know, I mean, her under, you know, that is understandable as the mage. But fighting the abominations and stuff really doesn't work with the mage. Now, the Templars, it makes sense to fight the um, Blood Mage and Demons at the docks. That makes narrative sense. Going into the Gallows, it makes narrative sense for me to be fighting demons and undead and abominations in the Circle Tower itself. Because the Mages are now resorting to letting themselves get possessed by demons and letting demons out. And it makes sense for Sino to go, hey, you know, this is, I'm going to have to use Quentin's research and do this. 
that makes narrative sense to me. And then, you know, and we're seeing Meredith turning on the champion, not just something from the idol. I mean, she, she would already turn on the champion with the mages, but it's like that little narrative thing. It's like Cullen listening to the champion's orders and accepting the mages' surrender and Meredith being like, my authority kind of thing. It makes sense that she would want to kill the champion, not for siding with the mages, and it ties in to the narrative the final battle has it with the Templars, as opposed to Morsino turning into an abomination creature out of nowhere. The only problem with siding with the Templars is the game itself. Because we're seeing, yeah, we're seeing mages that abuse their power as blood magic. But most of the time, it feels more like it's in a response to the Templars as opposed to them being power hungry. So you're more, at least in my opinion, I'm more willing to side with the mages in general, even, you know, you know no matter what, because... You know, plus Bethany. So, if you're playing a mage or warrior hawk, you get Bethany, who's a sweet little cinnamon roll. She's she's lovely. She's a sweet girl. She's kind. Her heart is in the right place. So, it makes you want to side with her. And if you don't take her into the deep roads, and she you know ends up in the circle, it's still makes you want to side with the mages. So as a warrior, you really don't want to side with mages. Or as a rogue, you really don't want to side... Or with a warrior or rogue, you really want to side with the mages because of Bethany. The only way for Carver to survive is if you're a mage. If that's your origin. And... Why would you want to side with the Templars when you're an apostate? So it really doesn't make any narrative sense in my mind to side with the Templars from the beginning. You only really side, I can only really side with the mages from the beginning. So it makes no narrative sense for me to side with the Templars. I think the ending was badly done. But the game was done in a rush, so it, it makes perfect sense. To, you know, it makes sense in that way. But yeah. Um, I've been streaming for almost 12 hours now. Wow. Um, I haven't been streaming the entire 12 hours of taking breaks to, you know, stretch and let dogs out and stuff, so. Um, I mean, yeah, it's not as steady as 12 hours, but another 12 hour stream. Wow. It's probably gonna be the way Inquisition ends too, because the next time I play, I'm playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Well, next time I play the Dragon Age game. And that will be, uh, in about a week. Um, this is going to be one of the only two streams this week. Um, October is beginning tomorrow. And I really want to start getting my yard decorations out for Halloween. And some of them need to be repaired from weather last year. So I'm going to be working on that. Plus editing this down. So I'm not going to be playing again until Sunday. The end of the week where I'm going to be playing Pokemon Legends Arceus then. So, I, I may, whether, you know, if the weather turns crappy or something during this week, you know, I might play some, you know, play some Sims or something. But, till Sunday, I think I'm done. <laughs> until Sunday, I hope you guys have a good week. I'll be playing Pokemon Legends Arceus on Sunday. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.